This is one of those little jobs that I never film that I mentioned. Uh, however, I'm going to film it this time and show you something that may get you out of trouble and save you quite a lot of money instead of calling a plumber. What I'm going to show you today is an attempt to clear one of our toilet drains that over decades has blocked and it's almost always been due to tree root ingress. Of course the biggest problem with tree roots is if you happen to have a big massive tree nearby because the roots can spread for a long long way. This is a particular problem when you have the old earthenware pipes maybe uh, broken or meeting new PVC pipes you've had put in because when it's dry especially the roots seek out water and it's marvellous how these tiny roots can make their way through and once they're tiny roots they grow into big roots and therein lays your problem. I first bought one of these 15 metre drain and tube cleaners years ago not too long after I bought the gurney which is less than 2000 psi and there are of course other manufacturers that will also make hoses to fit other units so search around if yours isn't a gurney. The nozzle on this one has a very thin forward facing jet and four side jets slightly angled behind so it pushes its way up the pipe also potentially cutting or at least clearing any dirt or muck or possibly tiny roots as it moves its way up. This is actually the second hose I've had because the first one even though it only had a handful of uses over the years just became weak from age so I had to replace it. So in this case I'm going to unscrew the IO or inspection outlet. There's just three screws. Underneath you'll find a rubber o-ring. Be careful not to drop that down the drain because it does help seal the cover from outside elements like dirt. Now the first hose I bought like this, I don't remember, I bought from a, um, a plumbing supply place. But the second one I bought from Bunnings Warehouse in Australia. Even now though, they're still under $50 for the Gurney one anyway. But globally, if you go to any of your major hardware stores, they should be able to have something like this. Or just search online for your particular brand of pressure cleaner and see what attachments they have. Obviously, the higher the pressure, the more root-destroying power they have. So what you do is feed it up as far as you can while you're holding the handle or the switch on, and that will try and snake its way up further up the drain that's blocked or partially blocked. Since buying this house around 25 years ago, we've had major problems with our sewer line. Over recent years, we've been using a plumber that, that uses a jet blaster, and that's around 10,000 pounds per square inch pressure. They're extremely expensive for plumbers to buy, and this guy is a really good guy. He uses a camera as well, which again is extremely expensive. So we've had to use him a number of times. However, with this long thin hose you're able to get it into certain areas that possibly the, th the fatter far more powerful hoses can't quite reach now this bit of black water you're seeing isn't what you might think it is you're lucky this isn't stink cam black usually indicates dirt where the tree roots have come in So do this a few times to do your best to uh, clear what's in there and keep watching till the end and I'll show you an extra thing that I did that can't be tackled by the thicker hoses that plumbers use. So I even took my gurney and long hose over to a mate's place a while back who has a sewage system and in his case it had uh, a lot of scale in the pipes that was blocking up the toilet that was upstairs so yeah a couple of passes of this and we literally saw big chunks of this calcium sediment come out into the uh, pit 
So that was a, a free fix that saved the call of a plumber. Well and truly worth the money. I highly recommend them. They're also useful for sink blockages too, although I've never used it for that. This particular hose comes with another little attachment on the end with a spring, which I believe is supposed to kind of wobble around and maybe knock sediment free, I'm not sure. But I've only ever used it for drains or uh, down, down pipes off the roof to clear out leaves. Because of that backwards facing jet or jets tends to blow all the leaves down. So multitude of uses, I can't speak highly enough of it. It won't always work. Sometimes you'll encounter roots that obviously need proper cutting gear that only the plumbers have. But if you get in early and it's just tiny little thin roots, you've got a fair chance of clearing the problem. Do that a few times and then go the other direction as well. So for the money, under $50, that is a small, tiny fraction of what's been spent by using plumbers over many years, which has literally been thousands of dollars. Little tip too, don't uh, bother using plumbers that use the old eels, as they're called, or the corkscrew type things, because jet blasting is the way to go. Another tip too, from uh, speaking to this plumber, don't ever be tempted to use the cheap toilet paper that you buy in the supermarkets. Always stick to name brands. And there's a good reason for that. Some of the cheaper ones, apparently, the paper is so thick, it does tend to block up the pipes. Which is another reason you never ever flush anything other than toilet paper down the toilet. Don't ever put nappies down there or you know hand wipes or anything like that. They're not designed to disintegrate like toilet paper is. And believe me, the uh, cost to have it fixed is far more than taking care not to do those sort of things. Sometimes that'll work, other times you have to get in the plumber with the big expensive tools. Believe it or not, I've even used the, the hose, which the nozzle has four angled jets to make its way slowly up this downpipe and the others are in the house. <laughs> I'm pretty confident no matter what brand of pressure washer you have, you should be able to find a hose that will do the job. Well, it may even be worth trying what I just did that actually worked. And that's, uh, if it's a toilet problem, mind you, I snake the hose through the, through the house. Um, put it down this end of the toilet. As you can see, I ran that and it worked just before I was about to call the plumber. So this has definitely paid for itself many times over. Yeah, um, everything will be different. Obviously, if you're playing around with toilets and drains, wash your hands really well. But this saved me well and truly. Anyway, if that gave you any useful tips, consider subscribing. Cheers. So if this video helped you out, feel free to uh, buy me a coffee using the link or scan the QR code. No problem. <laughs> you can also donate through PayPal securely on the link in my description or hit the super thanks button. Any small donation as well as liking the video and sharing all helps the channel out and it's very much appreciated. Cheers.